shut up. Shut the freak up. Anyways. Seno de mo so na che dame mo so na che hora koko wa wa shin kasu yo moto moto. Hey, hey, okay, okay. <laughs> hello, hello, my fellow weebs. Welcome back to another video of mine. Today will be the freaking second part of the female anatomy video. Yeah, how long ago was the female anatomy video? I'm I'm not even sure. I to be honest, it's probably four months ago because that's how my schedule works. So, anyways, today we're gonna be learning how to draw lollies. Oh man, the FBI is gonna come for me this time! Now those who wanna draw lollies, this part is for you, alright? You, you? Okay, this is, this part is for those who need to go to jail! Alright, this part is for those who want to draw their dream little sister. The little sister that are actually nice and adorable and call you Onichan. God, you guys are so freaking weird. The lolly anatomy is honestly the most simplest out of the two body types, and honestly I should've started this one first. Now this part is the most risky part of the video, so before this video goes on, I have to say this, okay? Please do not mistake in this as sexualizing children. We are not, we are not sexualizing children here, we're only here to draw cuties, not make cuties. You know what I mean? Okay, now that's out of the way. I know, I know, okay, now the reason why I mention this is because I know, I know like you guys are not dumb, but there, there are some people that need to hear this, okay, because like, some people can't take a joke. So yeah, let's, let's start the video. Okay, we first draw the head, which means we're gonna draw a circle. We're gonna draw this figure in a frontal view just because it's easier. Draw the cross line on the front of the circle. The chin for the little girls is a lot more wider and smaller compared to grown adults. Drawing it like this will give the head a chibi-like appearance, making it very cute and adorable, which is what you want. After that, next is the body. Remember, everything about a lolly is small, which means the body is going to be freaking small. Draw a small rectangle underneath the head, then draw a wide trapezoid underneath the small rectangle. Look, if the body is looking a bit too small, then don't be afraid to abuse the transform tool. <laughs> if you don't have transform tool, then I guess you suck! <laughs> Look at this dude, drawing with paper! After that, onto the legs. Draw two lines underneath the trapezoid, then draw another set of lines on the other side of the trapezoid. After that, draw two triangles on the bottom. Draw two circles on where the knees would be. This would help us when we put some form into the legs. After that, readjust any bothered parts to make sure they look proportional. The arms. Draw two circles on where the shoulders would be, then draw two lines for the arms. Put some shapes at the end of these lines to create a simplified pair of hands. Now that you've got the skeleton of a lolly, it's now time to put some meat on this godforsaken marionette. The head is already fine, so you can just trace over what you just had. Draw a simple neck. After that, draw the trap muscle on either side. Once you're done with the neck, draw two lines on the top of the circles we made our shoulders. These will create the collarbone. Then, put some lines in front of the circles. This will create the shoulders. Trace over the sides of the boxes you had on the body. This will create the outline of an hourglass. Draw a V-shape on the bottom line of the trapezoid. We're done with the body, now let's touch the legs, I mean, uh, draw the legs, yeah, th that's what I meant. <laughs> now it's time to draw the thighs! I can't hype something up like that or else the FBI will come after me. Ah, screw it, they'll come after me regardless. Th no matter how old you are, may you be a middle schooler or a grandma, all girls have thighs. Except for newborns. Maybe this joke has got a bit too far. I draw the soft looking triangle, oval, whatever the frick- I, I DON'T KNOW THE SHAPE! I, I DON'T KNOW THE SHAPE! Unless the character you're drawing is Kana, please don't draw the thighs too thick. Small girls usually don't have thick thighs. Now after when you're done with that, now on to the rest of the legs. Draw the angled line to create knees. Then draw the calf muscle on the opposite side. Draw two lines, then draw some bumps to create the ankle. Mmm, ankles. Then, draw the feet. Do the same thing on the other side. Readjust anything if needed. You're now done with the legs. Alright, now we move into the dangerous part. We're now going to draw the breast area. Stop! You violated the law! I'm Pay not going to find or serve your sentence! When drawing breasts for lollies, it's, um, it's a bit questionable. And maybe illegal. You don't have to necessarily draw the balloons for the breasts. I mean, duh, they're little girls. Their boobs are not fully developed. So you're left with two options. Either you don't draw the boobs, or you keep watching this part. 
So Gabe, you don't want to watch this part. I'll, I'll go ahead and leave a timestamp for those who want to jump straight to the arms. I'll give you an 8 second head start. Alright, now that the cowards have left, let me show you how to draw lolly boobs. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's gonna be quoted. This part will be short, but simple to explain. To draw lolly tits, you need to draw little bumps. That, that's literally it. Of course, these are lollies we're talking about, so don't make these bumps too big. You already know what to do for this part. Draw a cylinder on the guideline, then draw another cylinder underneath the previous one. Draw a squarish hand, so that way you, you can substitute for the, the lack of hand tutorials that I don't make. Please don't make, please don't make me make a hand tutorial. After when you're done with that, do the same thing on the other side. Again, readjust anything if needed. After you're done with that, you are officially done with the lolly anatomy. Congratulations, you're now done with the Lolly Anatomy video. Now you can go ahead and create all the little sisters that you want. Go ahead, my friend, create a Lolly Harem to the heart's content. Alright, now after this will be the final part to the uh, female anatomy video. Or like the female anatomy series, okay? And that part will be mi- What's that sound? Hey, thanks for watching my newest video on the second Female Anatomy video. Sorry it took me a while. I had uh, a lot of things to do. Uh, I had homework. I also had to like pack up because we're moving to a new house. And uh, I also joined in a, in a competition. And well, let's just say I'm uh, I'm running low on a uh, on ideas and also uh, time is. Uh, the time is money, so like I can't be wasting time anymore, and I wasted time making this video. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you liked my content and you just like me in general, uh, consider leaving a like, comment, um, and sharing this out to the world, please. I, I really need views. If you want, I don't care, honestly. And if you like, you can become a subscriber as well. It's free, and you can unsubscribe at any time you want. I don't care. Doesn't matter. Uh, please don't let my channel die. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's that's all. Also, um, yeah, I have nothing else to say uh, other than uh, FBI. Please don't hurt me after this. <laughs>